in three, two, one, go. All righty, we got two, three robots on the Blue Alliance working on placing their game pieces. We got three cubes placed for the Red Alliance. And then two cubes in a cone for the Blue Alliance. And Precision Guestworks is able to get that dock and engage for the Blue Alliance. Super Duper working on placing another cone for that Blue Alliance. Shamrock Botics working on picking one up for Red. Team Roboto coming in with a cone for the Red Alliance. Working on placing it in that co-op grid. Just trying to get the angle right. And, oh, it just barely falls off. It, however, did fall into their low row, so they still did get points for it. Harrison Boiler Robotics comes in with that last upper row cube. Super Duper coming over for the Blue Alliance with a cone. And they get it onto that rung. Harrison Boiler Robotics coming back over to their community on the Red Alliance, trying to get that cube placed. And they get it in. Hatchet Robotics coming in with a cube for the Blue Alliance. And they're just working on getting it to the right elevation. And they're still able to knock it into that low row. Precision Guessworks coming over with a cone for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, Shamrock Botics in their loading zone, ready to grab a cone. Oh, we got two cones being placed by the Blue Alliance, and one on the high rung, and then one falls into the low row. Team Roboto places a cone for the Red Alliance. That's now three game pieces in their co-op grid, meaning that they now have that sustainability bonus. Hatchet Robotics working on creating that link for the Blue Alliance, and they're able to get that cube secured. Looks like the Blue Alliance is still working at trying to fill out their grid, trying to get those last links needed before climbing onto their charging station. Meanwhile, Shamrock Botics and Team Roboto are able to get docked and engaged, while Precision Guestworks and Super Duper are able to do the same with a few seconds left. Let's see how these scores turn out. All right, let's see those scores. And the winner is the Blue Alliance. With a final score of 133. Both teams getting some ranking points for that one. And Super Duper manages to stay in first place.